Greetings, travelers. It is Dave from Gravity Wiz. Today, I'm going to give you a crash course on our newest and most free plugin, Gravity Forms FeedForge. So FeedForge allows you to bulk process your Gravity Forms feeds for existing entries. This is super useful if you want to take data that may have been processed before you set up one of the Gravity Forms many feed-based add-ons uh, and then process it after the fact. So let's jump into an example here. So I have a name field here and an email field and I have submitted 1,000 entries for this form so you can see all of this juicy data. And now I have hired an intern named Frodo and I don't want to give him access to my WordPress dashboard because it, you know, I don't want him to break anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export this data to Google Sheets so that then he can do some data processing on it there. So first things first, let's hop over to our Google Sheets feed. This is powered by GP Google Sheets, one of the perks in our Gravity Perks suite. And I've already set up a feed here. It's called export for my intern Frodo. And it's going to this Google sheet here, which I will open up in a new tab. And then I'm just mapping the entry ID to the ID, first name and last name and the email. Uh, there's more data that I could send, but we're keeping this simple for this quick demo. Lastly, I am gonna enable this option so that if I make updates to these entries, they will uh, be reflected in the exported data into Google Sheets in the future. So again, that's already saved, so nothing else required here. So also just showing you this is my uh, sheet, my spreadsheet, and it is empty because we haven't imported any data into it yet. So now let's do that. So we're gonna go back to our entries view. We're gonna click on, well, actually first things first, let's select our entries, right? So if we click the select all checkbox, it will select all the entries on the current page. That's gonna to default to 20, but there's this really handy feature from Gravity Forms where you can actually select all entries across all pages. In this case, it's gonna be all 1000 entries. And also worth noting, you can use the entry filter if you would like to target like a subset of entries. And of course, you can also select individual entries manually if you have some sort of uh, arbitrary requirement that you're looking for. Okay, with that said, we have our entries selected. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna process feeds and we're gonna click apply. And now we're gonna select the Google Sheets export for my intern Frodo feed, and then we'll click process feeds. It'll take a second, it'll add these feeds to the queue for processing. You can see our success message there. All 1,000 entries have been added. Now at this point, you're done. There's nothing else that you need to do. FeedForge will handle processing all of these in the background, so we can close this page. You can go get a cup of coffee, you could write a book, whatever you're into. But if you do want to check on the status of this page, you can always just refresh the page or come back to it if you haven't. And this way you can see that it will display a message. FeedForge is currently processing a batch. It's on 969 uh, entries. Well, excuse me, there are 969 entries remaining. And of course, you can always refresh this page to see the latest, up, uh, latest count again. Now, uh, let's go ahead and take a look in our spreadsheet. And you can see that these entries are being added. Uh, due to rate limiting, they may not, again, it's not gonna happen instantaneously, uh, but they will eventually all appear there. And again, if you have any doubts about whether or not, you can see a few more coming in right now. And again, if you're not sure if it's done or not, you can always just, again, go back to the entries view uh, and see the status there. So yeah, that is it. Uh, we're really excited to see what you do with FeedForge. Let us know in the comments. Thanks a lot, bye.